Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing a review of White Shroud Poems 1980 to 1985 by Allen Ginsberg. So as always, I'm going to go through and read the blurb, then I'm going to go check out some of my tabs, I'm going to read you a couple of the poems from this, and share my overall thoughts and rating. Uh, what I will say is it's a... Uh, I don't know, I've read enough Ginsberg at this point that I feel like I'm not getting too much from reading new Ginsberg books. It's also quite a hard one to track down. Uh, this one's actually a first edition of it. I think it was only published for a few years and then Ginsberg died, so they just sort of tacked it onto his collected poems, you know? But uh, I'm going to read you the blurb. So, uh, oh my lord, it's quite a long one, but it does have an author bio as well. All right. An outstanding new collection of poems from Allen Ginsberg at age 60, White Shroud confirms the reputation of America's best-known poet for bold experiment and provocative verse. The title poem, White Shroud, is a dream apparition, a bittersweet magical epilogue to Ginsberg's terrible masterpiece, Kaddish, the elegy for his mother written 25 years ago. Dream visions run like a thread through much of this book, including an encounter with the spirit of William Carlos Williams, who dictates instructions to the dreaming poet in verse remarkably akin to Williams' own form. Ginsberg continues his experiments with poetic modes in this collection. Outrageous political rock and roll lyrics and rap, surreal anecdotes, Eastern Doha and precise 17 syllable one line American haikus, vivid erotic narratives, gay heroic couplets, national blues, danceable instruction for classic Buddhist sitting meditation, Armageddon nightmare satire and open form improvisations, first thought, best thought, contemplative poems modelled on mind process, descriptive sketches, a rhymeless sonnet, translation from police state verse, Tai Chi practice thoughts, didactic instructions to theists of the moral majority, paraphrase of a Greek anthology fragment, and a series of poems written in mainland China, authoritative in its echoes of Tang Dynasty wisdom tone. Haunting and original, distinguished by the poet's daring erotic humour and penetrating autumnal tenderness, White Shroud is a major addition to Ginsberg's work, of a quality to rank with the best of his poetry in the celebrated collected poems 1947 to 1980. Again, notice those dates and how that lines up with this. Allen Ginsberg was born in 1926 in Newark, New Jersey, a son of Naomi and lyric poet Lewis Ginsberg. In 1956 he published his signal poem, Howl, which overcame censorship trials to become one of the most widely read poems of the century. It has been translated into more than 22 languages, from Macedonian to Chinese, and is a model for younger generations of poets from west to east. Crown Prague making in 1965, then expelled by Czech police and simultaneously placed on the FBI's dangerous security list. Ginsberg has in recent years travelled to and taught in the People's Republic of China, the Soviet Union, Scandinavia and Eastern Europe, where he received Yugoslavia's Struga Poetry Festival Golden Wreath in 1986. A member of the American Institute of Arts and Letters and co-founder of the Jack Kerouac School of Disembodied Poetics at the Naropa Institute, the first accredited Buddhist college in the Western world, Ginsberg lives on New York's Lower East Side. Not anymore, he doesn't, he's dead. We get an unnecessary N-bomb in the poem Industrial Waves, which is set to the tune of Capital Air. I'm not going to read you the full poem because it's quite long. Uh, but I did like as well, it said, uh, Freedom to sell dope if you're CIA. Or a knock on the street, you can do it anyway. Or the sister of the Shah or informer for the law. If your name is Abby Hoffman, you might take a fall. And Abby Hoffman is who Sasha Baron Cohen played in The Trial of the Chicago 7, I want to say it was called, based on a real case. Maturity. Young, I drank beer and vomited green bile. Older, drank wine, vomited blood red. Now I vomit air. Another short one here, surprise mind. How lucky we are to have windows, glass is transparent. I saw that boy in red bathing suit walk down the street. Yeah, he's a bit boy obsessed. Uh, by this point, he was in his older age, but he still had a thing for young men. There are a few poems that I couldn't read because they're too sexually explicit. But they were good poems, actually. Okay, Student Love. We could probably do this one. The boy's fresh-faced, 18, big smile. Underwear hangs below his shorts. He's a kid still growing. Legs strong, he hugs me, steps away. In 20 years, thick-bellied, bright eyes dulled with office work. His children will pout in the bathroom. Better get in bed with him on top of me now, laughing at my pot belly before decades pass. Bring our bony schools whispering to the hospital bedside. Prophecy. As I'm no longer young in life, and there seem to me not so many pleasures to look forward to, how fortunate to be free, to write of cars and wars, truths of eras, throw away old useless ties and pants that don't fit. And the last one I'm going to read out, this is the only kind of longer one. I, I found with his longer poems in this, that whilst they did quite often have like little bits that I liked, as a general rule, there weren't that many like full longer poems that I enjoyed the whole thing of. Uh, but I did like this one, Things I Don't Know. 
Dawn, a mastiff howls on the porch across the street behind the for sale sign tree. Chatter, chirp, chirp, chatter, chirp, 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 chick, chirp. Chance, birdie, twitters in a maple tree branch, twerp. I wake, what bird's that? What kind of dog moans so? Is that a maple or an oak on Mapleton Street? What flowers, weeds and ferns, those in the backyard? What car goes by a whoosh? A Pontiac swash up the street. A Chevy, Ford, a Pinto, a Grammarian, a four-wheel drive GM. What star I saw last night when clouds lifted and Orion's belt glittered gold on blue? Or was that amber on Asia? As my eye followed his arrow past the North Star through the void, was that a tiny galaxy shimmering? Where's Sagittarius? Which way is the black hole at centre of the spiral nebula? Where's Sahel? Where are a million children starve? Where's Libya where Wilson of the CIA trained terrorists? How many times this century did the Marines land on Nicaragua's dirty flag? Who killed Rock Dalton? What's the size of US national debt? And how much interest we pay each year till the 80s end? Now the bird's quiet and the dog barks down. What's differential calculus? How do you fix electric socket wires? I used to know the names of all the minerals. I do remember pectolite gave you like asbestos splinters. How do people overcome panic driving cars? Are bird bones hollow? Didn't I once know the look of grackle and scarlet tanager? Cirrus or cumulus, what cloud produces thunder, lightning, rain? What makes electricity in a battery? How does my wind charge of friction become electric? When water pours into hydraulic ram, what makes it squirt uphill when the valve closes in the pressure chamber? Is that it? Something like that? What are the 12 picks in conditioned coexistent emergencies chain? Blind man, potter, monkey tree, boat world, house with seven windows. What comes next before the man with arrow in his eye? What about banks? What's common stock and preferred? What's the futures? How do you hang a door, frame a window, hold a light chainsaw? How fix a broken leg, ease a heart attack, deliver a baby, breathe in the mouth of a man dying at Oceanside? What kind of government ever worked? Who wrote English choriambics? This isn't trivia, I'll play that. This is my life, I can't remember. The name of the lawyer, my fellow student, friends with me in college 40 years ago. How make a living if I couldn't write poetry? Would I know how to plant peas, tie up tomato stalks? So yeah, overall, White Shroud Poems, 1980-1985 by Allen Ginsberg. Um, I mean, it's pretty representative of his work. I would start with like Howl and other poems, but um, if you're a completionist like me, definitely get to it. I gave it a 3.5 out of 5. It had a few bits of food for thought, and that's all I can say about it. So there we have it. That's what I made of White Shroud Poems, 1980-1985 to by Allen Ginsberg. As always, don't forget to let me know what you thought of this book. If you read it, hit that like button. If you've enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button for more. And I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.